How would you describe Fanny in one word? Fantastic. A dependable. Kobe. Baller. Baller. I would describe Fanny um, using the word very friendly words. Hmm, Safi in one word. Pop. Thoughtful. My hero. Loving. Sassy. Relentless. Reliable. Would probably be Biffle, just because we're super close. Love. Fanny in one word as humble. Relentless. Talented. Raw talent. Hyphenated. Hyphenated one word. Kobe. She is Kobe. Simone in one word would be loyal. Reliable. In the word reliable. And nice. Accountable. Fashionista. One word to describe Simone is caring. I would say cheerful. Caring. Simone is motherly. Organized. Truthful. Steadfast. Selfless. Simone in one word, it would be kind. It's responsible. Hardworking. Probably be sweetie because she's super nice and super kind. <laughs> Dedicated. One of the funniest moments I've had with Sof would be the term that I took Spanish to with her. Um, we're walking out of class and I go to ask Sof what moped is in Spanish. And she goes, yo no sé. And I'm like, oh, yo no sé, okay. And a couple seconds later I'm like, wait, what? When she picked up on my writing, and since then, I have a nickname called Pulo <laughs> because she couldn't make she couldn't make a difference between my A's and O's. We'll walk to the gym and just bark and meow the whole time. <laughs> Get some funny looks. She was our point guard during one practice, and it was her sophomore year. Um, and she called to play Kentucky, but she said Kentucky and we had no idea what she was saying and so we had to ask like three different times um, what Kentucky meant so finally she put up the three fingers and we knew. Um, so we live right down the hall from each other and some nights she'll just like come to my room or we'll see each other whenever we're brushing our teeth and she'll like come and tuck me in the bed <laughs> or like if it's my day like we'll like rotate so then I'll like go and tuck her in and we literally like tuck around the comforter and like tuck each other in um, and it's just it's a great way to end our night. I don't know if this is funny but I roomed together with Safi last year and um, we went a few months straight of just calling each other kitty because we both like cats so we didn't even call each other by our names. <laughs> is definitely her alley-oop on stove. I think the funniest part of that is Safi was surprised herself that she did it afterwards. Watch the tape, she's super surprised. When she alley-oops Steve. Yeah, the time I got ooped on. Fanny and I have this running joke that I hate her stuffed animal named Panda, um, but I actually love it. <laughs> And Fanny always tells me that I hate Panda, but I don't hate Panda. I love Panda. We were waiting for the team to come out pre-game and the music was playing and we all start dancing and clapping and it was last year and Coach Kaylee was clapping offbeat and Simone promptly looked over to her and said either clap on beat or don't clap at all. Um, and it was just one of the most funny moments, really lighten the mood pre-game. Uh, conversations and laughs with her when she sits across from me on the bus. The first time I came here, we had a FICEP um, a talent show and Simone convinced me to dance Macarena in front of everyone. So. Well, Simone would say that everyday practice is a funny story because I give her a practice plan. We went to Yale and Brown and Simone has never seen anybody get their eyebrows done before so she went with me and it was really funny and she was just sitting right behind me and she laughed the whole time and it was like just a really funny experience for both of us. My funny moment for Simone is when she told Stove to change his outfits during a game. <laughs> That's hilarious. Actions speak louder than words. Um, 
You know, you always hear that saying and you know of it, but I think Fanny is a prime example of it. If you say one word that you need to have, she's there every time. I've learned how to talk in a really deep voice for a long time from Fanny. She's vocal when she needs to be, um, but she leads by example and, and she's steady in that. One thing I've learned from Fanny is uh, just how to compete. Um, I think that she is a really good player in um, pressure situations and um, that really inspires me to play like her. Just to love the game and to remember why you love it every day. One thing I've learned from Fanny is how to shoot a pull up. Uh, um, I've learned how to serve others um, without complaint from Simone. Being on the clock is not as easy as she makes it look. I've learned that fashion is not dead. Um, I look forward to seeing her new outfits every game. What heels to wear with what dress pants and what colors go with each other. <laughs> Punctuality, she's always on top of it. How open she is with people and how she can like incorporate everyone into a conversation. Just like to not take anything from anyone and just to like be a strong individual and state your opinion like on matters that you care about. Something I've learned from Simone is that having a positive attitude can brighten so many other people's days. Kobe Bryant jersey because she's Kobe. <laughs> She would be a beanie that's in the shape of a cat. A lucky Budapest t-shirt because she is from Budapest. Nike Air Maxes. Um, she loves wearing them. They're awesome, just like her. If Fanny was a piece of clothing, I think that she would probably maybe be like mittens. I don't know why, but it's just like a weird, I don't know. I think she would be mittens. I don't know why. Fanny pack. She would be a fanny pack. Yeah. Either her Tims, her pink Tims, those are like her signature shoes in the winter time, uh, or just a pair of jeans, like her European style, because her European style. Probably a shirt with some cats on it, because she has like 50 of those. Pink basketball shoes, which is why we got them for the first time this year. Um, Safi is a princess. She's our Hungarian princess, but she's also an absolute baller. Like your go-to power blazer. That's the piece of clothing she'll be because she's on point, she's sharp, looking fresh, gets the job done, boom. Some type of tribal print or like a tribal print shirt or maybe like pants. A big comfy sweater because she's just such a warm person um, and so kind, uh, but she also gets the job done like a big comfy cozy sweater does. She would be pants because she runs the show. Fanny, I appreciate you, I respect you, I love you, I'm going to miss you dearly, and thank you for being my rock uh, since the day we stepped foot on Dartmouth campus and uh, DWB together. What I will miss most about Fanny is her presence um, on and off the court, no matter what she's doing or saying or anything. When she's in the room with you, you can feel her, and I'm, gonna, I'm definitely going to miss that. Um, a lot. What we'll miss most about Fanny is her quiet jokes. Um, a lot of times she says things under her breath that a lot of people don't catch and I feel like I always catch them and she always has me laughing. We have such a connection on the court and off the court that I'm definitely going to miss like all the memories that I have with her but I know we'll uh, meet back again so to relive more memories. I will miss Simone's ability to tell us how it is all the time in her truthfulness. I miss most about Fanny is um, just playing with her every day. Um, she's such a competitor and it's just really fun to play with her. Um, something that I will miss most about Simone um, is just like the energy that she brings, um, especially in practice. Like. We'll be doing a drill where like it's like some crazy scoring where like 10 points for an O board, 3 points for a charge and like we'll all be griping about our score and then Simone will just be like no I'm right like I know I've got your score. So like we can always just like trust that you like 
Our score is correct. Simone, I love you because she is so much more than a manager. She's a part of this team. She is one of us and she knows exactly what she's talking about when she's yelling at us to do stuff and it's it's just amazing to see that. Um, to Simone and Fanny, it was it's been a great season with you guys. I'm gonna miss you guys so much. Um, I knew you were always there for us and you really set an example to the kind of senior I wanna be someday. Can I say something Hungarian? Sure. Be, okay. So, Tápi, vigyázz magadra, légy ügyes, és remélem, hogy ezután meghatódsz, úgyhogy hatódjál meg! That's it. I'm gonna miss you, Fanny, so much, and I love you, and thanks for being our senior. And Simone, thank you for dealing with us and taking care of us more than we'll ever know. We love you. I'm gonna say I'm gonna miss you, Fanny. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Love ya.